Hi there, this is Anna and I help parents potty train their children. You could also follow me at El Potty Nurse on other social panels. Today, I wanna to speak about habit training. So the main idea behind potty training is habit training. That's how you wanna think about it when you start contemplating the idea of potty training your child. So for those of you who follow me know that I am big on passive training and from passive training, transitioning into active training. This way it's easy for them to habit train themselves out of the idea of being strapped in a diaper all day. Because understand, I like to compare potty training to eating, right? So potty training is not like a physiological milestone such as walking and crawling, right? They're different. Potty training is a socially adapted skill that we train our children to do to be civilized human beings, right? Um, we know we're pooping and peeing. That's not the issue. Just like we know when we're eating, right? We eat and our natural instinct as children and as we develop, right? If, we, if we're not taught to do otherwise is to eat with our hands, right? But we teach our children to eat with utensils and eventually we teach them to um, cut with a knife. You know? it does, it's never gonna come naturally for them to pick up a spoon, a fork, a knife, cut and eat in this manner. Just like potty training, the natural instinct will be probably to go to a corner in their diaper and pee or poop, right? A child is aware that they are eliminating, right? But if you don't teach them what to do with their body and train them about body awareness, and where their elimination actually goes, they will naturally continue to do what they are already accustomed to. So to do away with their diaper, I like you to think about it as habit training so that you don't fix yourself with the idea of training in a hurry, right? Always remember that it's not you going through this, it's your child going through it, right? And we tend to forget that we, especially when we're stressed out with potty training, we tend to forget who is the person wetting themselves? We tend to forget who is the child who is having difficulty, say, with like bowel movements, who is having difficulties, you know, with the transition. It's not you, it's them, right? So we want to be empathetic and think about it from their standpoint and what they're going through, doing away with the old habit of peeing and pooping at will in a secure in the security of a, a diaper versus thinking about it going independently knowing when they have to go feeling when they have to go when they have to go planning when they have to go right so all this takes time and effort on the child we don't want to forget that we don't want to forget who is the person going through the transition right um you can coach all you want as a um dietitian you know as a um physical therapist as, as a trainer but you're not the one going through that, right? You're not the one going through that body process. You're not the one training your body to eat better. You're not the one training your body to feel better, to physically be fit, right? You did that already. You're the, the muscle guy or the, the, you know, the girl who's physically toned and is here to teach you, but you're not the one going through the process, right? So you wanna facilitate that for your children and make it as welcoming as possible for them. And if you start implementing teaching strategies to get your child to that point where they can understand their body and that it, they can understand what they have to do, then the transition will be easier as opposed to having them train, say, over a, you know, a fast course weekend. That's not really feasible for many children. You know, I know there's great stories out there, but in reality, that's not the majority. And we don't want to base our children on the minority. We, we want to understand it from the standpoint of the majority. With the majority, it takes a lot of time and a lot of habit training. Always remember this old saying, old habits die hard. And that is the truth for potty training. This is why many times children can regress, right? Because if they have a couple of accidents, a couple of random accidents, because they were sick, because they were away, because they weren't going through a life transition, then they can easily regress to that moment when it was okay to just pee and poop at will on themselves and not have to think about it because that's what they were used to for many years. You know, and then, you know, I have parents who tell me, well, it hasn't been many years. They only were in diaper for a year and a half. Well, guess what? A year and a half for your child is, is half their life if they're three, right? For us, half of my life, for example, will be 20 something. 
So one year for me is nothing, but one year for your child is a very long time. It's half their life. So we have to think about it in that perspective when it comes to, you know, regressions, right? They can easily regress back to that moment because that's what they were habitually trained to do since birth. And so any little like mishap can bring them back to that moment in time. And then they could start having accidents again. And then you wonder what happened. They were trained for such a long time, but long time for you, not long time for them. Okay. If that makes sense. But anyway, so understand from that aspect that old habits die hard and you need to habit train your child by providing them a lot of education, providing them um, some uh, diaper free time, teaching them about elimination habits, teaching them what their body is doing real time as they're doing it, you know, uh, providing a lot of bathroom time so they could see what you do, so they could see what they can do and what is supposed to be happening, right? Because children also like to mirror other adults is like their role models. They want to belong and they want to do what other people do in the household. Anyway, with that said, I hope this provided some insight for you and you could hopefully see potty training in a different light and be more patient with, with it and gradually train your child so that you're not stressed and neither is your child or the household per se. <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscription button so that I can provide you with more educational videos like this in terms of habit training and potty training. Um, you could, like I said, you could also follow me on other social panels on Instagram and Facebook on El Party Nurse. So like, share, and subscribe, okay? This is Anna teaching you how to potty train your children. Peace.